Hey there, comic folks. It's 123 Comic Bro. Well, today is a big day. I'm moving on up in the world. No more bowling alley comic shows for me. Instead, today, I am going to C2 E2. Yep, yeah, that's right. I'm actually driving in Chicago right now, and uh, <laughs> this is probably one of the worst decisions I've ever made is driving and filming at the same time, but. Yes, I am driving. You can see all the traffic passing by me. We are heading to McCormick Place, where C2E2 is taking place. Anyway, it should be pretty fun. I hope it's fun. only uh, one block away which is a good sign I think a good start to the day totally free woo so uh, let's go on in I haven't bought a ticket yet so I hope they're not like sold out but I would I'd be surprised <laughs> So like an idiot, I didn't actually film that much content at C2E2, which is why you're talking to future me as opposed to past me. But I'm trying to recreate the scenario. I'm wearing the same clothes, and uh, hopefully I can fill in all the gaps that I stupidly did not record while I was there. I do have a little bit of footage of me talking about the actual convention space and the recap afterwards. So let's watch that first, and then you'll cut back to me. I've been here for about ooh, four hours or so, and I feel like I'm finally getting a lay of the land. Uh, let me just give you a quick overview. Uh, over here, we have all the different aisles, which of course has merchandise, that sort of thing. And over here, you have the artist alley, which has all the cool artists, uh, comic artists, writers, pencilers, colorists, everybody. Um, this is where I've spent most of my time getting signatures and talking with uh, uh, people who are interesting. When I first came in, it was a crush, and I was so discombobulated for good reason. Uh, you can see tons of people, and uh, especially when you come in here, you're kind of confronted with what's called the block, uh, which is pretty much the worst area to go into, in my opinion. You walk into the block and you are mobbed by, uh, by people. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good merchandise in the block. Everybody's buying stuff. Everybody wants something. Cool. That's what happens. <sighs> well, that's everything for C2E2 for me. Pretty good day, you know? I, uh... Came away with quite a bit of stuff and I'm excited to go back home and look at all of my signatures and all the stuff that I got from the con. I actually didn't spend that much money, I was surprised. I only spent uh, money on my ticket and on food, which was expensive, but and also uh, just to give donations for people giving signatures. And other than that, it was uh, quite a cheap day. I think I spent less money than I usually spend at my local uh, comic shows just because I didn't buy any new comics today, I just got signatures. So, quite a great day. Um, let me show off what I got. So now that you're back with me, let's talk about the exciting stuff, the actual signatures and everything. Uh, I did purchase one thing while I was at the convention, which is 30 Days of Night number 3 uh, from the original miniseries. This is a book that I've been looking to get. Um, I've been keeping my eyes open for the original series and this one was just too good of a deal to pass up on. Uh, again, didn't spend that much money on it. 
and all of these uh, books that I got signed didn't cost me anything as well. So let's go through it. At the beginning of the movie you saw Humberto Ramos, who is the penciler for uh, the Spider-Man series going on right now. Uh, this is Spider-Man number 700, and it's really hard to see his signature, but he's right there uh, in silver uh, sharpie. He seemed like an okay dude, you know, he was eating some nuts. That's all I got. I got to meet John Lehman and Rob Guillory, who are the writer and artist of Chew, an awesome series, awesome stuff. This is the uh, special black and white edition of uh, issue number one. The other side it has Walking Dead. Um, but they both signed it, and uh, really cool guys. I even got to talk with John a little bit, and here's what he had to say about the channel. This is John Lehman, I write Chew, and you're listening to 123 Comic Pro. Just for fun, I brought along an Avengers vs. X-Men book. This is round six, and uh, I got it signed by two folks who were involved in this one. Uh, Mark Morales, who does the inking, and Jim Chung, who did the cover art. Uh, both pretty cool guys. I could not get them on film because I was an idiot. One person that I did want to get a signature from, but uh, he was way too busy, was Koipel? Ko Koipel? I don't know how to pronounce that. This may be a little controversial for some of the guys in the community, but this is Superior Spider-Man number one, and I got that signed by Ryan Stegman. Uh, you can see his signature right down there in that corner. Uh, seemed like a pretty nice guy, you know, I got to talk to him for a little bit, and uh, he recognized me, he follows me on Twitter, as do I follow him, and um, he just, he was pretty fun to chat up, so, anyway, there it is. Hi, I'm Ryan Stegman, and I'm a fan of 123 Comic Pro. <laughs> Last but not least, we have two issues here signed by the same person. This is Batman Annual Number 1 and Talon Issue Number 0, the first Talon issue to come out. These were both signed by my friend James Tynion IV, who I went to high school with back in the day. Uh, really awesome to see him. Every time he's been in town, we've been missing each other. So it was really great to just have the chance to talk with him and kind of catch up. Hi, I'm James Tynion IV uh, here at C2E2 saying hi to all of you followers of 123 Comics Pro. Comic... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'll make you a card. I wouldn't put up with this <laughs> if this wasn't someone I went to high school with. <laughs> now you can put that on your... Yeah, exactly. I know. Anyway, that's all the issues that I got signed. It was so much fun going to C2E2, and uh, I must say that I have quite a few regrets. Honestly, I do have a lot of regrets concerning this show. Uh, it was my first big convention that I've been to, and I just felt completely unprepared for what I was confronted with. For example, I didn't bring enough books. I only brought about uh, one issue per artist when I could have very easily gotten away with three or four. Or people who were too busy, or people who were signing only at certain times. For example, David Peterson, who was packed the whole day. Brian Azzarello, Steve Niles wasn't even there, uh, Ben Templesmith wasn't there, Nick Spencer wasn't there. Just like all these people who I really want to talk to who weren't at the convention for one reason or another. J. Michael Straczynski wasn't signing until later. Jordi Belair I missed you know, her signing times. I wish that I would have had a better organization and gotten there earlier because I feel like that's when it's easiest to get these people's attention and to get uh, the time to actually talk to them. Also, dang it, I just need to film more while I'm there. I got home and I felt like what I had did not really capture the essence of everything that I saw. Also, Jim McCann, he was there and I got film of him but forgot to bring a copy of Mind the Gap. Stupid. This is Jim McCann, and in three, two, one, I'm gonna say I love one, two, three, comic pro. One final regret is that I didn't tell anybody that I was going to C2E2 in the community. And as such, there were people there that I could have seen and met up with that I wasn't able to. For example, Gary and RC Driver 90, I guess, was also there, so that would have been pretty cool. But whatever, next time, right? Overall, I had a great time at C2E2. It was so much fun, and it was just like a collection of people that I wanted to be with. And I'm really excited for my next con, not because I can improve my tactics, but because I just feel like I can get more into it and get more out of it as well. I had a great time talking about C2E2 with you, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. That's all from me, folks. Talk to you later. <sighs>